talk to me And love me like before oh, Talk to me And love me like before oh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I know you can tell by now by the title of this video that we're going to do another foundation review. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, you would know that I love to do foundation reviews. I love to try new foundation. And this time I think I have hit I have hit the jackpot when it comes to the perfect foundation for me. Um and that foundation is the Tante Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. It's in the shade number 11, Muscade. I first heard of this foundation from Jackie Anna. She listed it in the, I think, her top 5 or top 10 best foundation for a woman of color. And then another of my favorite um, YouTuber, Sophieology, this is what she used. So yeah, they sold me and I went in, I got a couple samples from Lancome. Um, I tried it, I'm not gonna lie, I really, really loved it. It has become my everyday wear foundation. And so I'm gonna, I saw, I went out and I got the foundation and here I am reviewing it for you guys so yeah I'm gonna go through this foundation with a thorough review because I really really love it and I think you guys are gonna love it too it's on the high-end um, price point for a foundation it's 73 New Zealand dollars I am not sure how much it cost in America and other bigger countries but it's 73 New Zealand dollars here which is approximately 50 something US dollars so yeah it's a little bit on the price yet point but when I'm tell when I tell you it's worth it it's worth it if you want to see the thorough review or my thorough review on this foundation then please guys continue watching so I'm gonna start off by priming my face and I'm not gonna use any special primer but my elf mineral infused face primer if you've been following me for a while you'll know that this is mainly the only primer that I use because I love it so much So this is the Tante Idol Ultra Wear Foundation and I got it in the shade number 11 Muscade. So this is how the packaging looks when you take it out of the box. This is our breakable bottle. It's pretty long. It has a black cover with the Lancome Rose sign to the top. Yeah, basic and it's like a matte shade of bottle. So yeah, when you take oh when you take that out it comes with a pump which I love because I find this helps me to control the amount of foundation I use. So yeah. I'm gonna go right ahead and just squirt a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay, is this locked or something? okay so I'm gonna squat another pump so it's kind of a thick formula it reminds me of the Estee Lauder foundation but I think the Estee Lauder is a little bit more runnier than this um yeah I cannot tell what's the undertone of this foundation though it looks like a yellow it looks like a red I'm not sure I'm a yellow undertone so, let's go ahead Ooh. It has a really really nice scent not an overbearing scent but I hope the scent doesn't stick around but it disappears as soon as you apply it because I hate a foundation that you keep smelling the scent like on your skin okay so I'm gonna take my elf brush as usual and just dip in here wow soaks up quite a lot So it is definitely full coverage because you can see one dab and it's flawless. It's definitely full coverage and I like a full coverage foundation. I mean what's the point in wearing a foundation if you're still gonna see your flaws under it, right? I could still smell the scent as I'm applying it. It's kind of annoying but I really hope that it doesn't last on the foundation throughout the day.
okay so that's one coat as you guys can see one coat three pumps and it's basically covered all my flaws I don't know if you guys can see that but I have some black spots there and they're all gone I have a couple here they're all covered I mean it makes me look like I've got flawless skin I like that okay we're on to a good start I'm gonna take just another pump or two just to see if the foundation is buildable and if when I add more coverage onto it if it's gonna look cakey or those kind of stuff so let's go with two more pumps and let's try to build this coverage and see how that goes I definitely love the color it's perfect it's perfect and I could see that it's a color that I could wear during the summer as well as the winter because at the moment we're in spring and I'm beginning to get a little bit dark or <laughs> but yeah I could see myself wearing this throughout the summer and staying consistent with it though okay so it's definitely definitely buildable coverage and it does not look cakey at all and another thing that i noticed with this foundation because even though i've this is like five pumps i'm wearing on my face and two layers and it does not feel heavy at all it still does not feel like i'm wearing anything on my face and yeah i'm beginning to understand what jackie Ina is talking about this is a really 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 nice foundation so far it's good it's very comfortable they claim that but we still have to judge if it's retouch free or not it says that it's up to 24 hour wear i don't think i would be able to wear any foundation for that matter for 24 hours straight but i would try and see how long i can wear this for so i would pop back on and tell you guys how i'm feeling it thus far so yeah i'm gonna go right ahead and finish up my makeup and yeah i'll catch you guys in a couple of hours with a completed review on our Tom Eagle Ultra Wear Foundation. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in a couple of hours. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been about about eight and a half hours since I've tested the Tom Eagle Ultra Wear by Lancome Foundation. And this is my result. I've had this on for eight hours and I've been so busy moving boxes, packing shelves and doing so many stuff this afternoon at work. Um, I am very impressed at the way it's held up because I can see a little bit of shine on my face but that's expected because I've sweated a little bit. Um, yeah it did not oxidize which is another thing that i like because like i told you guys earlier this is the exact shade for me it matches me perfectly so if it had to oxidize it would have thrown me orange and that would not have been good so yeah i love the fact that it did not oxidize i did heard however that it does oxidize but you can see i haven't experienced any oxidizing for the fact that it's really good coverage it's the perfect shade it's very blendable it does not oxidize um it is long lasting i am not sure if it lasts it would last up to 24 hours because who's gonna wear foundation for 24 hours but it is long lasting so i love that there's it is touch retouch free you don't have to touch it up because like i said i did not touch up my face and this is how i'm looking oh i was about to grade this foundation i would definitely give it nine and a half out of ten no bias i love it the only reason why i took away the half is because it's not matte and my face do get a little shiny after eight hours but for the amount of shine i cannot hate it it's expected so i cannot expect my foundation to last eight hours max straight through that's impossible so yeah i'm gonna give this nine and a half out of ten so yeah that's it for my taunty doll ultra wear foundation review if you like this review if you think that it's helpful 
um, give this video a thumbs up. Also hit on the subscribe button which is the red and white button right below this video before you exit. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye guys.